Hi everyone, my name is Praveen. Yeah, should I say I'm the flute guy? TFG here! Hey everyone, uh, it's the flute guy here. I'm joined here with my sister Sindhu. Hello! I, I, we just kind of decided to do a question and answer session to answer some of the questions that you've been sending in on uh, YouTube, Instagram and Facebook and whatnot. Do you uh, say that I'm your sister? She, she's my sister. Ah. Yeah, I, there was no one else I could choose to do this, so... Rude. Actually, I'm only doing this because he let me have the last cheesecake, so... He was begging me to do it. No, I wasn't. Well, yes, yeah. I was because there's no one else to do it. So, you have no last friends. resort. He had yeah. no friends. Okay. All right. Shall we get started? Yes. Okay. So the first question is from Rakesh Malik, and he asks, "How did you get into flute playing?" So uh, my dad taught me the flute, uh, and I was five years old. Uh, so my dad plays the plays the flute, and. Um, I guess he used to play the flute, right? Yeah, he used to play the flute. Yeah, he doesn't anymore. But like, he taught me when I was five, and like, he knows a bit of like Indian classical music. Uh, so he also like taught you music as well. Yeah, he helped me practice. I played the violin, and he always helped us practice and yeah. and things like that. And he still does as well, right? Yeah, still does. Yeah. Yeah. And every time we're at home or on, in the car, he'd always play karnatic music. So we've always grown up with karnatic music. He's like the my, like. My, like my biggest music critic so like every time I perform on stage um, like he's the one who's got like 10 things he needs to say like in terms yeah, of yeah he's never satisfied but, yeah yeah and he'll make you repeat the same line like a hundred times until you get it right yeah he's quite a perfectionist in that sense yeah should we close the door <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm back cool yeah so that, I think that answers <laughs> the question all right so next question yes it's from Kandika who's from India Okay. And she asks, where do you find full versions of your acapellas? Okay, uh, that's a really good question, Kanaka. Um, basically, uh, I've only put my acapella videos on Instagram and Facebook, but I've decided to also put them on my new YouTube channel as well. So um, I think every week there'll be a new acapella video on YouTube. So just keep an eye out on my YouTube channel and they'll be, they'll be there. Cool. Uh, Sahana asks, do you have any concerts in South India soon? The short answer is no, but uh, we're hoping to go to South India in uh, December, right? Yeah, which is like, which is, what was I going to say? What, eight months from now? No, I was going to say that we're going the to Chennai, yeah. and that's the musical season in India, yeah. Yeah, there's like a big like festival and stuff that happens in Chennai, and yeah, in Chennai, in December. So we're going to, we're going to, I, well, I tend to play there actually, I tend to play in like temples and stuff like that uh, around that time. So yeah, this year we might go again. So if you're in Chennai, come now? Up, we were meant to go to India this April yeah. and no one organised anything. But that was like family stuff. Like this is like work. Yeah. It's more likely to happen. So work over family. Good to know. Yeah. Anyway, Debbie asks, what's your mother... mother Debbie asks, mother. <laughs> what's your mother tongue? My mother tongue is... Well, this is a difficult question. Yeah. Because our mom is actually from Kerala and she originally speaks Malayali. But we don't know Malayali. Malayalam. Our, oh yeah, sorry. Malayalam because Apologies. Our, I, I apologize. You know, you you woke me up very early in the morning for this. It's anyway, twelve PM. I woke up at seven and it you woke up just noon now. Time. You said that we're gonna film this at ten o'clock. We're gonna have lunch after this. You said we're gonna have do this at ten and I woke up at seven for this. Yeah, I didn't tell you to wake up at seven. But you said to get ready I mean, we, for ten. Yeah. So, I woke so up why did you wake up at seven? So I could, you know, get ready for ten. Well it takes you three hours before I make up. <laughs> I was gonna wash my hair then I was gonna Anyway, um, our mom is from Kerala and they speak Malayalam there. Yeah. Uh, so she, when she was little, she spoke Malayalam, but our dad is Tamil. So my mom learnt Tamil for my, our dad. And well, no, like Malayali people can speak Tamil as well, generally. Oh, so she didn't actually learn it from Yeah, she, she already knew Tamil like, before she met Appa. Oh. Um, but all he knew was Tamil, so she was like, alright, I'll just settle for Tamil, right? Yeah, so actually her, her tongue is Malayalam, but yes. ours is. But we're also messed up because the Tamil that she... <laughs> we're messed up. Because the Tamil she speaks is Indian Tamil, so it's yeah. different to our dad's Tamil, which is Sri Lankan Tamil. Mm. So we actually get a, a, like a mixture of the two types of Tamil. Which is why I'm so nervous speaking Tamil to anyone, Same. because they'll be like, that's not the word for this, and I'll be like, oh, it's a Sri Lankan word for that, and then vice versa. Yeah, so perhaps a big mixed race. Yeah. Well, basically mixed race, right? I guess so. Um, 
Nair asks, what are the notations? Where are the notations for your videos? Okay, uh, I, I get asked this question a lot. So I don't have any notation because I don't write, I don't transcribe any notes before I play them in my music videos. So like for all my music videos, I've just played by ear. So um, I, would, I would encourage people to do the same as much as they can, like any musicians, to just play by ear as opposed to like writing it down and like memorizing it and stuff. Because mm. I think it's a bit more organic. Um, and from there you can develop your own style as well. Yeah, and you're, you're more likely to improvise and create if you don't write things down, I think. Yeah. Uh, once you write things down, you kind of limit yourself to that method of doing things. Whereas like creating is a process that happens anywhere. So you should, like sometimes I like compose something on the train to somewhere, but and I just record it on a voice note, you know, as opposed to just like typing it down and stuff. You record a voice note on the train. Yeah, sometimes I just record. In front of other people. Yeah, yeah, once I was in mid-conversation with someone over dinner and I was like, hold on, <laughs> I just sung into my phone for like 10 seconds. Because there was just an idea that popped to my head. How rude. I am not a good dinner guest. Yeah. Nivi asks, are you doing any shows in Holland? In Holland? Okay. I've only been to Netherlands once, I think it was a school trip. Really? Yeah. You've been to so many places, I'm so jealous. I'm lucky because my school did a lot of school trips. I, we went to with France, Netherlands, Iceland, Italy and the US. Yeah, I all I've been to is France. <laughs> For trip. one day, for one day, <laughs> well, we went a in the day morning. Trip. Yeah, we went in the morning. Went to a chocolate factory, not even Disneyland, and then went to some random chocolate factory. Yeah, some random. But it was nice. We had free chocolate, which I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, I've never been to a chocolate factory before. Really, seems what's it like? Uh, it's just what's it nice? Just make chocolate. Did, did we get to the candy factory together? Family. Yeah, okay. We went with the after. Okay. But yeah, that was nice. And then we just came back at the time that school would normally finish. So. Just felt like a school date in France, which is weird. So you went in the morning and came back. Yeah. In the evening. Yeah. <laughs> Wild. Thanks, school. Thanks for being in Europe, I guess. Yeah. Cool. All right. Mahati asks, "How do you learn the flute?" So you learn the basics of the flute from someone who plays the flute. So like how to kind of blow correctly and how to kind of hold the flute correctly and mm. do the fingers and stuff. But then after that, um, when it comes to like sliding between the notes and doing the more complicated stuff, I find it's best to just kind of develop it on your own based on what you hear. Um, so like if you hear, so like I listen to a lot of singers growing up and I try to copy the way they sing on the flute. So like if a singer sings in a certain way, I'm like, okay, what do I do with my fingers to make that same sound? And it really doesn't matter what you do as long as the sound comes out. So. <laughs> No, what? No, I'm serious. As long as the sound comes up. Yeah. yeah. As long as the right sound comes up, it doesn't really matter what you do with your fingers. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Like, it's just the, the end sound that, that matters. Okay, okay. So, yeah, that's that's what I did, basically. And also just listening to a lot of music. Like, listening is, like, more than half the work. Yeah. Uh, so, just always listen to, like, classical music if you want to develop classical training. Vans asks, what's your name? What's my name? Yeah. Oh, no, no. My name is, uh, my name is Praveen. My name is... <laughs> I'm Praveen, and yeah, that's it, that's, that's my name. Yeah. Vignesh asks, are you a research student at NASA? Okay, yeah, I did I did some like research work when I was at NASA, uh, which was uh, last year, in 2017. So I worked there for a couple of months, and we worked on like earthquake forecasting science and stuff. I can't really talk too much about it, because it's a bit like, I can't really talk about it. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if I should be putting this on YouTube. Yeah, so it, it was really nice, um, really cool being in California. I love California. And the great thing about that was that, like, I used the opportunity to do a lot of music work. So I made a lot of music videos when I was there. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a good experience all around, like, both academically and musically. Musically. Okay, so I think this is the final question. Okay. It's from Nanita, and she asks, Hello. How has your musical journey been, and um, what does the future hold? That's a really good question, mm -hmm. very deep. How's it been? So um, I think if I were to sum it up, I think I'd say uh, quite unpredictable. Yeah. Because you, you just never know what's going to happen. So like, I have no idea what's going to happen like next week. Yeah, and you always get random opportunities. Mm. And it's, it's kind of like a, a stroke of luck as well. Yeah. There was like a period in his your career where you just got so many opportunities in one go, but there was also like another period where we just like, waiting Nothing happened, for, yeah. yeah. So yeah, the key to like to getting through everything is just being patient and knowing that like, yeah, at some point there's going to be something coming. Uh, and then, like, if something bad happens, you know that that's just there to prepare you for the good thing that's going to happen next, mm. you know? So like, you appreciate the good thing when it comes. What do you think about your future? So future, I, I think it will stay the same in the sense that it will be unpredictable. Like, I know I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm, you know, it's good to stay positive about it. You know, just just uh, keep thinking about how to make new things, new content, new new ways of performing and things like that, you know. Just the act of changing the way you do things all the time and like evolving it and stuff will cause 
bigger things to change, so like bigger opportunities and different kinds of opportunities to come along. Yeah. For example, like I when I like I never like this time last year I would never have thought I'd do any acapella videos. Yeah. And then I started doing them in I think January. It's always good to like branch out as well musically. Yeah. You try new things all the time. But then, and then yeah, once I started doing that, then like got like so many like like requests and stuff from Western classical musicians and yeah. stuff, you know, which I never thought I'd I'd have. But that's because you know I decided okay I want to just change the game a bit, you know, do something bit different I guess. Yeah it's quite fun in that sense. So that's that's what I predict for the that's what I think will happen in the future. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you for that question. Okay, so I think that's all we have time for. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you for listening if you've made it this far. And let us know if you like have any other questions you want answered. If you like these kind of videos, let us know if you want like more of these kind of videos. I feel like they're just two people watching this. Yeah, just two people <laughs> and <laughs> So yeah, thank you, thank you guys. Uh, this was Sindhu, my Hi. sister. Oh, bye now. I, I'm Praveen. Thanks for listening, guys. Thank you for Take watching. Take care.